What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports. I'm going to give you some early thoughts on the Texas Longhorns for 2024 as they make their way into the SEC. And I'll tell you if I think this team's going to be better or worse than they were last season. Last season was a really good year. 12 and 2, won the Big 12, made it to the college football playoff, but we look to 2024 and a different era of college football and a different conference for Texas. We'll start with the offensive side of the ball. So Quinn Ewers is back. That's the good news there. Uh, really, there's a lot of good news on offense. But yeah, Quinn Ewers coming back, a legitimate Heisman candidate. Uh, so that's that's great to have him back. And C.J. Baxter also will be back. Jaden Blue will be back. They're going to lose Jonathan Brooks. They'll lose Jordan Whittington. They'll lose Keelan Robinson. Of course, Jonathan Brooks was injured late in the season last year. Uh, but still, they're, they've got plenty of, of depth there at running back uh, with Baxter and Blue and, and the newcomers coming in there. But uh, running back looks fine to me. You look at the wide receiver position, they're going to lose Jordan Whittington. They're going to lose Xavier Worthy, Adonai Mitchell. Those are three really good players. And you add tight end Jatavion Sanders in there as well. Uh, you're going to lose a lot in the pass catching department. But also lose Isaiah Nair, Casey Kane, and Xavier uh, Bryce. But they didn't do a whole lot last year. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to have to replace those guys. That's definitely a concern. But they've done a really good job in the transfer portal. Uh, you start at tight end with Amari Nyblack from Alabama. He had a very solid season last year, and so I think that he can step in there and have a big-time season this next season. They've got Isaiah Bond also from Alabama at wide receiver. Silas Bolden, a sneaky good player from Oregon State. Also Matthew Golden from Houston. These are two guys that are big-time. Maybe you haven't heard of them, but they are going to be really, really uh, uh, helpful for this offense. Let's just put it that way. So I don't think they really lose much. Yeah, Xavier Worthy and his speed, he's a game changer, but uh, I think they're going to be fine at wide receiver. I think they'll be in good shape there. And then you go to the offensive line and, and circle back. Gunnar Helm also returning at tight end. He played pretty well for them last year. So uh, they're, they're in good shape uh, with pass catchers, that's for sure. And then you go to the offensive line. All they lose is Christian Jones. Everyone else is coming back. So this is an offensive line that should be among the best in college football next season. So will they be better or worse? Well, you have to keep in mind, this offense was really, really good last year. And so I'm going to say they'll be just as good. I don't think they're going to be worse. Um, they maybe could even be a little bit better. There's potential there. Uh, but I think it's going to be a lot of the same. And again, they're going to be one of the top offenses in the country again in 2024. And so, I, again, I'm confident that Texas will not will be just as good, if not better. Again, I think it's more likely that they're better than worse with Quinn Ewers developing this offseason, four guys back on the offensive line. Uh, this is going to be a very good offense. Now, let's go to the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, you're going to lose some really good players right there in the middle of that defensive line. Byron Murphy is gone. Uh, Sweat's gone. Troll Carter gone. But they've got some other players that, that should be ready to step up. Uh, you've got Vernon Broughton. He's back. Alfred Collins will be back in the middle. And then pretty much everyone's back as far as your edge rushers go. And so they're in great shape there. Defensive line, pass rush should be very good for Texas. Again, maybe maybe a little bit of a downgrade in the middle of that defensive line because you're losing two All-American type players. But uh, overall, they should be in good shape. And then you look at the linebackers. They're going to lose Jalen Ford. He was their best linebacker last year. They're going to miss him. But you've got... Uh, Jabenda coming back. You've got Anthony Hill, who has a chance to really break out this year. And uh, really, Ford's the only guy they lose. So, yeah, he's a great player. But depth-wise, they're still in pretty good shape at linebacker. You go to the cornerback position. Um, and we'll kind of come back to the transfer portal here. Um, they added Kendrick Blackshire from Alabama. So, you've got a linebacker that you added there. Also added Trey Moore, an edge rusher from UTSA. So, again, front seven should be pretty good. They added a defensive lineman from Arizona as well. You go to the secondary now. They lose Ryan Watts at corner. That's it. Terrence Brooks is back. Malik Muhammad is back. Uh, they are in great shape at cornerback. At safety, they did lose a lot of players at that safety star position. They lose uh, Barron. He was he was great for them this past season. That's a big loss. Uh, they lose Jaron Thompson. That's a big loss. Keaton Crawford. That's a big loss. Some other players went in the transfer portal as well. Um, Jalen Catalan, he's gone. And so you look at Derek Williams coming back. Really, he's going to be, I guess, the main guy at that position coming back. They lose a good bit. So this is an area I'm a little bit concerned about. Uh, you look at what they did in the transfer portal. They did add um, Makuba from Clemson. So he was their one addition at safety. 
And so that could be a, a concern. Depth maybe at that safety position, the middle of the defensive line perhaps taking a, a bit of a step back. But they've added enough, and they've got enough coming back where this defense should be, I think, about as good. So this Texas team, really on both sides of the ball, it's going to be more of the same. This is going to be a team that is right there among the top teams in all of college football. Maybe they push through. Maybe they get to the national championship. It'll be a little bit different with the 12-team playoff, obviously. But they should be among the, the top championship contenders and i think they're going to be in great shape on both sides of the ball so again i don't think they're going to really going to be any better or worse i think they're going to be right there where they were last season this team should be about the same potential maybe to be better i think it's more likely that this team is better than it is that they're worse and i think they have a chance to maybe go a little bit further this year even though they are coming into the sec so give me your thoughts on texas early thoughts on this team do you think they'll be better or worse let me know down in the comments below